Good day, everyone. I'm Andrea Mitchell in New York. As the presidents of Harvard, Penn, and MIT face a congressional committee over how they responded to a dangerous increase in anti-Semitism on their campuses since the horrific October 7th attacks, a study by the Anti-Defamation League reveals 73 percent of Jewish college students surveyed experienced or witnessed some form of anti-Semitism this year alone with fewer than 40 percent of those students feeling comfortable with others knowing that they're Jewish. Today, the university president's defending their response to anti-Semitism on their campuses. Anti-Semitism is a symptom of ignorance, and the cure for ignorance is knowledge. Harvard must model what it means to preserve free expression while combating prejudice and preserving the security of our community. I have condemned anti-Semitism publicly, regularly, and in the strongest possible terms. And today, let me reiterate my and Penn's unyielding commitment to combating it. I have been president of MIT since January of this year. As an American, as a Jew, and as a human being, I abhor anti-Semitism. And I should note, I am a former long-standing trustee at the University of Pennsylvania, and while I am no longer a voting member, I do remain an active alumna. NBC Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Nobles now joins us. Uh, Ryan, tell us more about this Congress's members, their concerns, and, of course, the presidents of the universities and how they responded. Yeah, I think more than anything, uh, Andrea, as often is the case with Congress, this was an opportunity to, to bring to light the real concerns that members of Congress have about these growing threats of anti-Semitism on college campuses across the country. And uh, you saw these college presidents answer that call. They came here and took the tough questions. They continue to take the tough questions from members of Congress. But there does appear to be at least some sort uh, of uh, reluctance by these members of Congress to believe that they're actually taking the steps necessary to truly prevent this from happening. Now, what can Congress do? Uh, there's a lot of different options they have at their disposal, but many of them would be likely difficult to actually get over the finish line. There is the opportunity for them uh, to increase funding to uh, government programs that help reduce uh, the cases of anti-Semitism across the country. But members of Congress have also threatened going as far as uh, you know, limiting or cutting off federal funding to these institutions. They're largely private institutions, so that funding is limited to begin with, or even perhaps taking away their tax-exempt status. That would be a very difficult thing for them to do. So this was, more than anything, uh, a way to make sure these college presidents know that members of Congress are concerned about this and, and find a way to get them to try and rein it in as quickly as possible, Andrea.